morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, wet hair, don't care. Um, hope you guys all got outside and played. It looks like you did the last couple days. Did you guys see what's in the forecast this weekend? Snow? That'd be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, so if you didn't get a chance, actually, my heart was so full yesterday. I saw so many of you at the packet pickup in the morning. It was so great to see you. I miss you guys all so, so much. Um, if you didn't get a chance to get your packet, not a big deal. It'll be coming in the mail. And um, otherwise, today on the email that I'm sending out, that's this video is actually attached to, um, there's a link to a Google Calendar, and there's some things that you can follow the links for. Biggest thing, read. Get on RAS Kids if you haven't. Write, which I'm going to talk about today, reading and writing a little bit today. And do some math. Um, I have a math game for you, but I don't want to put too many videos out, so I think I'm saving the math game until tomorrow. And Mr. Johnstone, I think, is also going to um, possibly make a video for a math game. All right, so our next couple weeks, we are going to be talking about story elements, and actually we're really good at that, so we're just going to continuously talk about that in our reading. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to draw that over. We're going to make that bridge into writing. So I know yesterday you got your packet and Monday was on there, but um, you weren't really having to do it. But it wanted you to kind of make a character because what you're going to be doing is writing about that character like the books you read. Creating a character. I think today was making a problem and how that character got out of that problem. Problem, solution, right? So, um, and I do know we talked a little bit about this three weeks ago before we left, before I the last time I saw you, right? So today I'm just going to read a book called Blackout. It takes place in the summertime when they have a blackout, which I'm sure many of you guys are like, oh, I was reading it. I remember when all the lights went off. I remember when all the lights went off. So um, this is just a cute book. And actually what's funny about it is there is a main character, but we never hear, know her name. Right? But you might want to obviously name the character that you create and the problem that that character um, comes across. So as I'm reading this, I just want you to think about the character. I want you to think about the problem, which and just enjoy the story. Okay, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, your writing little, little bit, because I know these get long and I want you guys to be watch, looking at me this whole time on this video because it's kind of crazy. All right? All right. So called Blackout by John Rocco. That's probably how we are looking these days, kind of looking out the window like, ugh, right? Blackout. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was hot and loud. There's and then she said, inside, everyone was busy. So some of you guys might make a connection with an older sister talking on the phone and then the younger sister coming in. And then she says, get out. That happens at, that happens at my house. Sorry, dad can't play because everyone is much too busy. Everyone's got something to do except the little girl. There she is. And then she climbed back up the stairs, right? Went and played video games. The lights went out. All of them. And this is probably what most of you guys are doing. Mom! Nothing worked at all. There's a sister all sad because she can't talk on her phone. It's not. It's back in the old days when they had landlines. Many of you probably don't have those. The city was dark and quiet and Still. What? What do you think they got there? Why is that light on? Is that a light? 
of life coming from there. How do you think that got like that? We huddled around flashlights and candles. Until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside. Can we go? Let's go up on the wall. See, I live in that apartment building. So we went up and up and up to the rooftop and found the light. And people, it was a black party in the sky. We waved to everyone and heard other sounds below. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on. was going on there too. Selling some free ice cream. Actually not selling it, giving away some free ice cream. They're singing. They're jumping in the water. And no one was busy at all. So now they're playing with her, right? When the lights came back on, Everything went back to normal. But she got it out. Right? Because she kind of liked it when the lights were off. No one had anything to do. But not everyone likes normal. I gotta go. Good idea, buddy. blackout cute book isn't it so the last time we did this we talked about nuffle bunny and trixie and all that well today we have a whole family and a little girl we have a we have we know the setting it's in a city in an apartment building right and then we have a problem and a solution so when you're writing today and any time that you're writing this is what i want you to do You can kind of do the same kind of thing by making a graphic organizer. What's your character going to look like? How is your character going to act? What kind of adjectives would you use to describe your character? Are they going to be funny? Are they going to be happy? Are they going to be sad? What does it look like? Are they tall? Are they skinny? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it a woman? Is it a man? Is it a grandma? Is it a grandpa? Right? And what is their problem? Well, in Blackout, their problem actually became part of their solution in a way, didn't it? So the problem was nobody would play with her. They were all too busy. And then the other problem was there was a blackout. And the solution then was we took a blackout for her family to play with her, right? And then the other problem, the blackout was solved by the lights going back on. Problem advice to you. You're all phenomenal, phenomenal writers. You all can free write. You love writing books. You love illustrating books. And you're all very, very good at it. Keep your problem easy. Don't, we've talked about that in the past. Don't make your writing and your problem and your story too complex so it's hard for the reader to understand it, right? Um, they lost their shoe. They, um, couldn't get outside to play because it was raining. Oh, a solution. They found an umbrella. They um, flat tire in the car. Oh, a tow truck came. You know, make your problem with your character kind of easy, especially as you're first maybe starting to write your story. The more stories you write, the more um, problems and the harder problems you can include in there. All right? If you guys write a story, you can tape it and somehow get it to me on, I, I know... We've seen otherwise just show me your book something. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Sorry if this ended up too long. I see it's almost 10 minutes. I'm sorry. Um, you know me. I like to chit chat and I miss chit chatting with you very, very much.
All right? Be good today. Do your reading. Get on Rans Kids. Do some writing. Do some math. Right? If you didn't get a chance to get your packet, there's a Google link coming out that's going to show you what to do. Otherwise, just do some reading. Do some writing. Do some kind of math. All right? See you guys later. Bye-bye.